Unit 11. Listening. Part 4. Where would you expect to find a shopping centre? We used to think the most convenient place was in the city centre. Then they started building them among green fields, where everyone could go by car and park easily. But a new one, Red Sands Park, has taken over some abandoned industrial land on the edge of the city and is pulling in eager shoppers from all over town. Will Payne, you're the chief architect of Red Sands Park. Mm -hmm. Why here? Uh, uh, principally uh, for the access. We could have put the shopping centre out in the country and we did give it serious consideration. But the area we've chosen has got its own underground station and it's also close to the motorway. So it's not hard to get here, either by car or public transport. What surprised us, though, were the protests from local people. We'd expected to be able to get permission easily because we'd be bringing jobs and business to the area. In fact, people worried that there'd be more traffic noise, fumes, more crime and that sort of thing. So getting permission took quite a long time. Mm -hmm. We were able to get it in the end, though, as you can see. Sure. And judging by the milling crowds of people, I can see the place is a great success. Oh. <laughs> What's drawing them all in, do you think? Well, uh, surveys of our customers show that people aren't just coming to shop. They're coming to spend the day. Lots of the best stores have branches here, so it's not particularly cheap, but people know they can get quality and there's something here for everyone. It caters for every taste, including people who'd rather not shop at all, but would prefer to see a film or go to the gym instead. Families can have fun in the same place without having to hang around with each other. <laughs> the interior really is astonishing. From where I'm standing, I can see trees, plants and fountains in the malls. Mm -hmm. There are cafes, relaxing music and even a free fashion show in one of the halls. Where did the inspiration for all this come from, Will? Uh, a visit to the United States. Uh, mm. I went there a number of years ago and visited a couple of malls in San Francisco and Seattle. I was really taken by their appearance. Of course, these places offer safe, crime-free shopping, but the truth is, they're a bit like palaces. <laughs> People can spend the day there surrounded by expensive things without having to pay a penny. People treat you well and you only have to pay for what you buy. So, Will, can you explain to me why is the combination of shopping and other activities so successful? Well, when we started planning Red Sands, we discovered that around half of normal family shopping expeditions end with a family argument. And we wanted to avoid that. We want people to have a seriously good time. Why is it that families argue so much when they're shopping? Because they're spending the day together, and probably not all of them enjoy shopping. Or at least, they don't enjoy shopping for the same things. When they're at home, they can each go off on their own and do what they really enjoy doing separately. And how does Red Sands cater for this? By organising shops, cafes and other establishments into groups. This means that families can still be fairly close to each other, even though they're doing different things. So, Mum can wander into the clothes shop, if that's what she wants to do, while Dad can pop into the computer shop next door. And the kids can go to a game shop or a music shop. They're all nearby, and they can find each other easily. Right. We found this cuts down on a lot of family rows and makes Red Sands a great day out for everyone. And what of the future, Will? Well, uh, we're now looking at ways of making shopping less tiring. You know, a day at the shops wears people out, and we considered a number of ideas. Carrying shopping around is very tiring, and we looked at ways to avoid that. We thought of hiring out small, electrically driven cars to shoppers, but we came up against problems of space. Uh, there just isn't enough room. We also thought about those moving walkways, like the ones you see at airports, where people have to walk long distances. We decided against them, however, because they'd involve a major redesign of the whole centre. 
And what we've actually come up with is a new technology where you buy what you want and then just leave it in the shop. Oh, right. <laughs> that way, you don't need to carry your heavy shopping around with you all day. When you want to go home, our computer system automatically sends everything you've bought to your exit point and you pick it up there. Oh, remarkable. <laughs> Will Payne, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>